Hey, what's up guys? It's Rare here. I'm back from vacation. Hope you're all doing well. Just finished watching the Democratic National Debate, the first national debate. And uh, I'm not going to talk about that too much other than I'm a Democrat, so obviously I'm going to vote for one of them. And I just made a political doc er, documentary, uh, what's a contribution to one of them. I won't get too specific. If you want to know, ask me about my stream sometime. But anyway... Politics, not what you're here for. You are here for League. I am back from vacation, ready to play again. We're playing some Ash today in the bot lane. We have a uh, Blitzcrank support, oh, a Jungle nice. Elise, top lane Fjord, mid lane Jace. We are all AD, unfortunately, unless Blitz gets like really far heading and somehow goes AP, but that's not really a thing. We have a Jungle Ramus, mid lane Ari, top lane Nar, and then Thrush support with a Vayne AD carry. So, actually pretty intimidating uh, for an Ash player. Don't have a lot of mobility. I'm against a lot of champions that do have mobility. I also need to alt tab really quick. I apologize. But just for a second. Uh, that fix it? Hope I fix it. There we go. Sorry, my mouse is freaking out there because I had alt tab in after turning on uh, OBS to record. So, at least it's not here yet. Uh, hopefully she's going to show up. Uh, well, I guess we'll find out. It's a team builder game, so... Kind of weird if she doesn't show up. Elise, you literally had to hit yes to come join the game. Pliss! Okay. Well, hmm. This sucks. Oh, she's here. She's just super late. Swiftly now. Yeah, she's gonna be behind. I don't know if I buy the whole Rito hates me thing. I mean, you were, you were kind of here. You had hit yes to be here, but what, whatever. It's all good. It's all good. So we're gonna go ahead and start with Volley, most likely. Just kind of waiting right now. I don't want to get caught out here though. So for now, I'm just gonna focus on getting debt there. CS. My Blitzcrank does not have a relic shield, so I just need to focus on my own. Taking of the CS. Not a bad volley there. Ah, I missed one. That's okay though. Hook not quite connecting. Four blitz crank, but that's alright as well. We'll try to do some decent poke damage when possible to their thresh. Mostly I'm going to focus on CSing, but like shots like that, I'll take those. You know, just some easy damage. There's really no reason to not go for those pot shots. Let's go ahead and get a tank get a point in our queue. Jeez. English is hard for me today. Nice. Go ahead and queue up here. So, nice play by Blitzcrank there. Oh, I'm tanking too much CS here. Or rather, tanking too much creep damage. But overall, pretty good trade. Not sure exactly what that hook was going for, but that's okay. I've messed up his Blitz Crank before as well, so that's all perfectly understandable. Nice, we're actually doing okay on CS here. And we didn't cast or curse ourselves. That's an improvement over the norm. So yeah, the weekend was good. Uh, just spent it with Lady Rare and her family. Uh, we went to a theme park that we've gone to a couple times. Just had some fun. Nothing really crazy or out of the norm, but just a good time. But I'm glad to be back. I know a lot of you guys have been messaging me on Twitter like, why haven't you streamed, where have you been, that kind of stuff. Totally understandable, but I can assure you I am actually here. <laughs> I am playing the game, I do exist, I am recording. So, so far all's nice and quiet, nothing really happening. Our Jace unfortunately discos. That sucks. What's with the servers today, Rito? The new patch is not quite out, I think it comes out tomorrow for Kindred. So, I mean, I, I suppose it's possible there could be a server issue there. So he's taking CS right now. And I think he should go down. Shit. So, minor misplay. I had to flash and didn't get into the brush, so I had to wait for the uh, connection there in order to get the kill on Thresh. Might have been able to kill Vayne if I had that slightly earlier, but it's all good. Shit happens. Mostly just curious if his ward was on cooldown. 
no answer, so fair enough. I'm just going to assume it was. Wait, does he not have... Does he not have a trinket? Did he sell it? Oh no, he's probably selling it for a sweeper. Never mind, I'm sure he must have had it. No, 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 I'm sure he had it. I was going to say, that'd be kind of awkward, but no, I'm sure he had it there, so... Jace is back as well. Unfortunately, he's going to be behind on experience, but shit happens. It is what it is. But I haven't seen Ramus quite yet. Make it count. Go ahead and get a point in our E here. Ah, uh, close. No cigar, unfortunately. There's the thrash hook. Let's see how close they can get. I don't think I just volleyed at full five stacks. Or er, Ranger's focus. Whatever, it's fine. Screw it. It's fine. Still no sign of Rambus, though. Let's go and throw the hog shot really quick here. Just to try to get some vision. Also clears the way for Blitzcrank to go ahead and get a ward up there, which is important. Our Vane is going to go for Vamp Scepter over my Pickaxe, so in that manner, it's kind of advantageous to her if we lack any uh, burst damage. But with a Blitzcrank, there's certainly potential there uh, for burst damage should he successfully land a hook. So it's just kind of one of those things. Well, we'll see. We'll see how things develop. For now, though, we'll just keep on focusing on CS. We have a small CS or er, uh, experience advantage over this vein, given I did get a kill first. But then again, she killed me too. I don't know. Hmm. Do not confuse mercy. So she wants me. She wants me to push up the wave here in order to make it so that she can come in. And in the meantime, I will go ahead and just activate my Q. And there's the Ramus. Yep. Yep, I know. We'll just wait for the counter gameplay. That's perfectly fine. Peace requires a steady hand. Alright, just gotta wait for it here. We gotta play this smart. I'm almost six. Nice hook. Cocoon misses, unfortunately. It's pretty big. But the Ramus disengages, so we still win that trade. So we both jungles were down here waiting. Neither's really gaining any farm or experience after doing that whole debacle. And given we had the better health trade on the Thresh, and I'm still able to, if I want to, uh, shove this vein under tower, which I'm more than likely going to do here. I think it's fine. Nah, not, not my best volley there. Probably should have backed up a bit more for that. Yeah, Blitzcrank and I have the same idea here. Go for the easy pickup. Why did I not auto attack there? Multiple times, actually. I'm not sure why that didn't go through. Ah, shit. Alright, well, I'm dead here, but that's fine. If Blitzcrank gets out, it's still worth it. And that's still worth it, because Vayne's not 6, so... Yeah, she should just, uh, leave. Ooh, that was a bad repel. I mean, at least we got the flash. That's something. Still not good though, and then this is gonna put me behind on BF. I can't wait 100 gold. God damn it, that really sucks. All right, well, take the components you can get. It sucks. I'd rather get the BF, and that might actually mean that Vayne gets a BF over me there. We'll see. Just kind of is what it is. Jace actually caught up on CS despite being gone for so long. Uh, he's still gonna be at a big level disadvantage, which sucks, but that's not bad. Fiora is up on CS, but down two kills at this point, which is bad. Definitely going to be a problem in that regard. So, we'll see. Maybe we can fix something there. But in the meantime, Vayne did not back, so I do have an advantage in that regard. Strictly from a pure item advantage perspective, that's pretty good for us. Alright, Blitz wants to go for an engage here. Got 
Good job. I think we can get a kill here. Yep. Nice. Just stuck with it. Didn't run. Didn't flee. Anything like that. Nice, straightforward kill by the Blitz. So, unfortunately, I delayed getting the BF, which is likely a mistake. I think that's a big power spike that I am foregoing. I also bought a, another potion when I already have four. I don't think I really need that many, so small waste of gold there. Not a huge deal, but just something to be aware of. Uh, let's go ahead and switch to Scrying Orb and buy a pink as well, because we are fighting a vein. Makes perfect sense to pick one up. Um, can at least get out of this successfully? Probably not. I don't think the Fiora should have just walked into the Gnarl for basically no reason. I think that was a mistake. So, bit of a mistake there, I think, by my team. Um, they, they really shouldn't have gone for that Gnar engage against a the wall there. I think that was a pretty big mistake. Nothing personal. Not not trying to necessarily like, call him out in like a negative manner. Shit. Double shit. Oh, well, that exhaust was good. Well, my ultimate just sucking. That did connect. Shit. Got him. Ah, that sucks. I took what I can get, though. So, this is a pretty rough game. I mean, I'm fed, which is good, but it's going to be a little while until I can carry. I also still don't have a BF sword, which really sucks. I think I'm actually going to sell a door just to get a BF, which is not optimal, but at this point, I almost feel like I need to. Lots of skill shots missing there. Uh, that's unfortunate. Alright, I'm going to hold on to the BF. It's going to be rough not having it, though. I really need that additional damage at this point in the game. But hopefully I'll be able to save up enough to get an IE soon. So top side, we're losing pretty hard right now. Um, I almost feel like it would have been better if she just rotated. Okay, Jesus, guys. Uh, if she had rotated down to Drake and just contested that instead, given bot side's pretty far ahead. Instead of uh, trying to address the issues up top that are, quite frankly, just not going to be addressed anytime soon. I don't know if we should contest that. I don't have my ult. We are one people. Alright. Well, I don't think we can save this tower. I mean, maybe we can. Oh, he already has that. Okay. Fair enough. I didn't think he already had that. But I was, obviously, I was wrong. Okay, well, J6 my kill, which makes me kind of sour, but that's alright, I suppose. Everyone's gotta get gold somewhere. Just wish it was on me there. Especially with that build, that's not gonna be doing too much work anytime soon. Alright, well. Another bad cocoon from release. I wish you would hold on to that just slightly strong, slightly longer. Let's push under tower, though. This should be an easy take. Okay, Elise. Well, one for three, and that's still, we still win that. We still win that, but it was pretty messy. I think they could have gone a lot cleaner. But I have my Infinity Edge, so... Meh. It is what it is. Yeah, uh, Fiora is... 
basically out of the game at this point, even with her CS advantage, four kills more than makes up for that. I wouldn't say the game's over, but it's gonna be rough. In the mid game especially. I'm gonna plug in my headset here really quick. Sorry about that, folks. Forgot to do something before the beginning of the game. Uh, she Cinderhulk. At least she Cinderhulk. That's good. That's pretty important. Okay, so it does pick up a Mana Moon with the extra gold from that bot fight. That's good as well. What's well, rushing Talisman? Eh, it's, it's whatever. I mean, it's good for Engage, I suppose. I can see that. I can understand that. I don't know if that's what I would have done personally, but I can understand his thought process. I think, given we are all AD, having a Zeke's would be incredibly helpful this game. Otherwise, they're just going to build armor and beat us. But, you know, teach the throne. So, Ramus is bot side. Does she have a blue right now? She should invade that. Now would be the time to go and at least scout out, see if it's up. It's probably not, but you know what? It could be. I, don't, I haven't really been fully paying attention to buffs this game, but... There is an entire possibility that that could be available. And we just don't know it is. At least CS-wise I'm doing okay. I'm pretty far above the vein at this point. Still no vision on the Ramus itself. Whoa! No! Negatory! That was a bad trade. There was no need to go for that. I mean, that was just flat out a bad trade. There was almost no reason I can think of to go for that. Now, this is fine. This is one thing. Much better. I mean, the Blitz is good, don't get me wrong. He knows how to play. I think maybe just, you know, misunderstanding there or something. But power to him, man. He's done a good job of fighting for me and keeping me alive. So I, I want to stress that I'm not calling him bad. I just think it was a bad call in that one instance. Um, yeah. Just probably get crit. I mean, honestly. Is there anything I can do to stop this now from Nigga's tower? I mean, good cocoon. There's the grand challenge. They should have him. Okay, they have him. Good. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go push that mid tower really quick while Nar is down. We don't see anyone at the moment, but doing so might not be a bad idea. Can we kill the Sari? Yes, yes we can. Barack Obama, yes we can! Nice. Alright, let's get that mid tower down. Took a bit of bad pathing there, but that's okay. Check for vision, no one's there. Cool, alright. We should be able to get this for free. We will lose bot, but bot was already low. It's fine. Go for two. Go for two. We still have the wave. We should be able to pick this up. Alright, can we disengage from this? I think we can. Should be able to just walk out with volley. I really don't know why she's 1v1ing this Gnar. There's really no reason to do so. Um, it just gives them an advantage, so now they can, you know, 3v4 instead of, or yeah, 3v4 instead of 4 on 4. So, poor typing on my part, but I need to focus on the game and not type to the, not type to the fjord at this point. But she really needs to stop 1v1ing, because it just gives them free objectives. I really don't know if we can contest this. I don't think we can. Yeah, it's already gone. So, now would be the time to fight. Just given Nar is in mini Nar form. What is Fjord doing? Alright, Thresh just killed himself, so that's that's whatever. Mm. 
hopefully that's enough. All right, cool. Yeah, Fiora's pathing has been questionable this game. I think that's the way I would phrase that. Just unnecessary uh, movement patterns that result in her dying or we're giving up an objective for free like Drake, like a tower. So she's kind of holding us back at this point if I'm being completely brutally honest. Uh, we'll see if we can make up for it. We'll go ahead and pick up a BF sword here just for some more raw damage. So far my Blitzcrank has done a really good job of defending me. I'm hoping he will uh, be able to transition that into the mid game. I think picking up the Frozen Heart is okay. I really would have preferred a Zeke's. To be honest, I mean I'm pretty fed at this point. I think getting a Zeke's would have made me be able to do a lot more damage to things like Ramus, things like Gnar. So, eh. Wishful thinking on my part, perhaps. Or perhaps, rather. I am out really far right now with no vision control. I know Ari's mid, but this is still pretty ballsy. Probably shouldn't be out this far, to be honest. Yeah, I'm gonna peace out. I don't feel comfortable being up this far. So, Ramus and Ari mid. Three mid. That's our go sign to get up there and make sure they don't get this tower for free. Not that I'm thinking they will, but... So, three Mia. Most likely something gonna rotate up top and happen. Vein Thresh pushing on the bot side, so I'm gonna just slowly make my way over there. So, we have Ramus. And Nar, and most likely Ari on the top side. So we have four top to our two bot, but Vayne's still quite a ways away from actually pushing the wave onto me. So in that respect, we're good. God damn it, Grom. Why don't you just let me kill you, hmm? Thanks, Blitz. God damn it! Stand together. Uh, even when he has a tankable target, he's just chilling. My bad. Poor AI on my part, or rather, poor performance on my part in regards to that AI. I should have known it would have done that. That was a bad volley. Should have held that a bit longer there. Ooh, this is not a fight I think we want to take. Just wait for the Meganar to end. This should be, yep, okay, cool. Easy pickup. Good job. I was a little weird for a second there, but we're good. I gotta watch for my positioning here. Look out for the Ramus. Look out for the Ramus again. Alright, no picks from the Ari happen. We're good on that front. At least it's pushing up bot to some extent. That's also fine. I can't really go forward without a front line though, just because I do have Ari, Ramus, and Thresh. So you gotta, you gotta respect that potential. There's a lot of damage there. There's a lot of CC there as well. I'll make sure Thresh, or rather Ramus, is not close enough to get a taunt off on me. Looks like we're gonna go in for a hook. Hopefully not on Ramus. Ooh, I don't know if I agree with that. Hope it's the Ari. Shit, I hit the wrong button. I hit the wrong button. I meant to hit G. Ping it, and I hit D and flashed. Didn't mean to do that. So, some mistakes, man. Some pretty unnecessary mistakes. Ooh, almost got Nard there. That would have been bad. Uh, luckily, by him doing that, they seem to have temporarily pulled off from going for the tower. They're still probably going to get it here, though. Even if I were to ult right now, it would not save it. So, I'll save it in case they push onto another one. They shouldn't. All of us are back alive. But they could. You never know. Alright, I'm going to make my way down to the bot side right now. Yeah, this Fiora... It's going to be... It's going to be a rough mid-game for her. I've died a couple times myself, to be sure, but... Eh. Why would you... I don't know... Wait, what? I don't... Okay. I'm not sure what the Elise means by that, because they're... 
Why would I focus Ramus? Like, he builds pure armor and health. When I can just try to kill Ari. Or, you know, literally anyone else. Even Nar, to some extent, is better than Ramus. Again, a hook on Ramus. Doesn't really help us very much. I was almost able to pick up one there. Alright, well, we're out. If but barely. Please! Why not CC before that happens? Come on! Ay, ay, ay. My front wall is non existent. I think the one problem is we're all armor, so they're just gonna build up resistance and eventually it's gonna be really hard. Yeah, like Thresh getting the frozen art makes sense in this instance, given we're all AD. But uh, we have no resistance against this Ari, man. Uh, I don't want to be in the, the VR. I mean, you know, bad games happen, but. I mean, if we want to win this reasonably, like straight up, we pretty much are going to need a miracle. Nice hook. Hmm. I think I would have preferred if we actually focused the Gnar, but fair enough. Mate, you what? That was a pretty ballsy fucking hook right there. I mean, that, that was questionable. That could have gone really poorly if they had flashes. I think I also need to leave, rather than push this out. But I'm greedy. All right, peace out. Getting a Phantom Dancer is gonna be really important in this game. Uh, getting a pen bow is going to be really important in this game. Lots of things that I really am going to need if I'm going to try to carry this sucker into the late game. But, uh... I don't know, man. They're just going to start building armor eventually. So, there's the thorn mail. Expected that. Why is he building magic resistance? What? I mean, I get it, right? Like, sure, Elise is fed. Understandably, but... Everyone else is AD. I don't know if she should be building magic resistance. At least getting magic resistance makes perfect sense. I mean, Ari's fed, sure. Totally can understand that. But I think that's different than the Ramus picking that up. To a rather large extent. Should have hooked that sooner. He has no rage. That would have been the time to go. All good, though. Mate, please stop hooking in the Ramus. For the love of all that is tried and true in America. Please. No hook the Ramsu. That was a good hook on the Ramus. Ironic, I know. The irony is not lost upon me. Alright, well we stopped the Gnarl from being really all that effective, like, which is very important. I do have to admit, ironically, it was a really good hook on Ramus right there. That's pretty funny, actually. Should we Baron? I'm pretty low. I think it's at least something to consider. Alright, fuck it. If we're doing it, we're doing it. This 
some nice heals there. Elise is down as well. Okay. Now we Baron. I'm gonna have to hang back a bit and try to lifesteal, but I should be relatively safe here. Relatively speaking. Bliss! Okay, alright, the flash was good, the flash was good. Oh boy, the flash was good. Woo! That was close. Holy crap, was that close. Alright, let's wait for the Phantom Dancer here. Oh boy. Flash is a, I flashed into Baron Pit to escape some additional damage there. My ult might have been off cooldown. I, I might have been able to use that. I probably was, but man, sorry. I went full on like, just shit, get the fuck away from the Ari, hope I don't die, and do residual damage. And uh, we got lucky with positioning there when I was able to pull that off. Holy shit. Jesus, was that close. Alright, so Drake's up in 60. Elise picks up the tower there. Nice. Got my blitz to where I can feel a bit more a bit more safe. Not a lot, but at least a little bit. Here comes the arrow, just in case. Uh right, we'll whiff, but Elise is out, so that's one thing. We should try to use our minion. Uh, minion? Baron minions, if possible. Even if only just to keep them shoved. Never lose I do need to make sure to watch my positioning here, though. I mean, she is full damage build. She probably can just solo Baron at this point, to be honest. Stand together. Jace and I together should be able to keep them at mid. Relatively speaking. We have to be really careful to not get uh, collapsed on here. So, good job. I think with Dragon down and Baron down, we can just shove out top. Just blitz low? No, he's got health. He can stay. Ah, he left. Okay, that's unfortunate. That kind of reduces our pushing power a bit. Faster than my arrow. Yeah, no, we really don't want to fight this, if at all possible. Do not confuse mercy for weakness. Please E so I can just get away. Like, holy shit. One thing I really don't want to do is fight that Rambus like that. Good hook. There's the arrow. Nice. Alright, I'm able to do some decent carrying right now. Baron is gone. I have a fair amount of money. I'm gonna go back and spend it really quick. I think we're gonna go for Penba. I think I just I think I just have to believe in myself the whole positioning. And I'm gonna have to be able to rip through people. And if I get if I get caught for it, I get caught for it. But I just need to make sure I watch my positioning. And sorry for yelling at you, Jace. I just want to make sure that we got the fuck out of there. Because I was kind of scared. I mean, I'll give Fiora credit. She kept up on CS. You know, credit where it's due. She might have died a whole lot, but credit where it's due, man. Damn it, that was that was a bad back. That that was a bad back. We should be stressing and pushing right now. All right. So they're not over there. Am I okay here? Yeah, I should be fine. I do need to get this rolling here. There's the Mega Nar, that's good. Try and slow him down. He should be able to disengage rather safe like here. I 
I probably could have and should have healed that. But we still win that trade in the end because Jace is pushing mid. So I still think just like on the whole, this is worth it. Screen vision, please. Okay, there we go. Good job, Jace, in their base. There's a Jace in my base! Just putting on plenty of pressure. We should be able to get this top tower relatively unscathed. Minions, please! I'm trying to take any tower damage if I can help it here. Okay. Sorry, Penny. Love you, buddy. Alright. We're 11, 6, and 19 at this point. No surprises from the Thresh, we're just gonna disengage. We did get a base tower down, I should have a fair amount of money enough for Penbo again, I believe. I'm just gonna go ahead and back out really quick here. Hopefully Fiora will too. She did get caught by that Q. I think she'll be okay. Okay, she dodged the second Q, that's important. There's our last Whisper, that's big. I'm almost full build. I just need a Quicksilver Sash now and then I'm basically full build. Obviously you can build that into Scimitar, it just doesn't tend to happen very often. Alright, let's make sure we, we group up here. So they should be able to bait this. Hopefully. Ah shit, Blitzcrank just died for nothing. That's really unfortunate. There's the Thresh. Do not Just keep you protected, that's all that really matters here. I'd ward if I could, but I don't actually have a ward, so... Oh, they are already dead, that's pretty big. Had no vision of carries, so I couldn't really fight that. There's their teleport as well, so I'm just gonna back out and defend the secondary. I also just wanted to lifesteal really quick, just to try to get back up closer to full HP. I think we're not gonna want to fight this, though, most likely. I think we just give this up. I really do. I don't think it's going to be worth contesting. I think we just wait for our team. And then we can out. Uh, yo! 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 You have literally no backup. Because I sure as shit am not fighting that. Alright, well, I don't really want to fight this either. I don't have a choice though, unfortunately. Shit. Okay, well, now I'm gonna be dead. Shouldn't have taken that fight. Yeah, definitely a throw situation there. All right, I got Quicksilver, which is big. Definitely a throw though. They might actually Baron off that. I could try to get a hawk shot over there. I don't think it, nah. So like, hmm. This is rough. I mean, this is really rough. I think I do need to just go ahead and get a Elixir of Wrath at this point. We 
We should probably just go as five at this point, honestly. Anywhere on the map? Okay. Well, let's get a hog shot going. Okay, Baron's good. Wait for the fuel to show up. There goes the blitz. Just get the hook on someone important, i.e. not Ramus. Bliss. Alright, fuck it. I'm just gonna kill Ramus. Gonna kill Anar. Nice hook. Get the heal off. Nice. Okay, that should be the game. That should be the game. I don't think they really have a way to save that. 13, 7, and 21. I was a little critical of people. I hope that doesn't come off as salt. It was not my intention. More so just from an analytical perspective, like, probably should have done that, or that was pretty good, or I don't think I agree with that. So I just want to stress, it's never personal, at least not in this game. <laughs> so 13, 7, and 21. Bit of a long one, but despite being all AD, Wow, we managed to pull it off. Granted, you know, that's actually not entirely true. Elise did go for a full AP build, which I'm sure did make a really big difference. So kudos to Elise for having the balls, quite frankly, to go for that. Uh, it was risky, because we didn't really have much of a front line with our Fjord being so behind as well. But, I mean, we had good pick comps. I guess we had okay vision in the sense that we always managed to get someone with the blitz hook. I had decent position in that game, didn't die too much a couple times where like flashing forward and that mid fight wasn't really good and I definitely had some misplays where all I could hit was Ramus because all that was in front of me was a fucking Ramus. But hope you guys enjoyed the video regardless. Thank you all so much for watching. You know how it is, A to Carry Games. I always get really focused, but uh, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace out.